Okay, welcome back everyone to my YouTube channel. This is Outdoor Adventure. What I'm gonna show you today is our absolute greatest golf cart glamping video. And basically, you know, this is our number one glamping accessory, minus the dog. And this is a 2007 club car precedent that we've gone ahead and made quite a few modifications to. Obviously, you can see we've changed the seats, we've added a back seat, we've changed the wheels and the rims. So it's more fun for us when we go to the campground. So what I'm gonna show you today, I'll show you more about the mods in another video. What I'm gonna show you today is the ramps that I made that we take with us on every trip that we use our golf cart. And also this kit that I bought on Amazon so that I could turn these two by 12s into great ramps. One thing that I found over time is that our battery powered golf cart, which most campgrounds require that you have, so it's quiet, is extremely heavy. So I had to mod that even further because when I was driving this up, the ramps were actually bumped. Okay, let me get back to that. For some reason, my GoPro shut off. So anyway, I was talking about these ramps and realistically, these are pieces of aluminum. You have a front piece that's uh, screwed on, bolted on to the bottom side of our two by 12. It's pretty sturdy. You know, I've been very pleased with what we've got here. The only thing that I've done to make sure that these do not get broken is I've added some angle iron here and I bolted it about every 12 inches down. It's kind of tedious, but looking at the comparable uh, versions of foldable ramps, I just couldn't justify the cost. So this has worked out really well for me. I think the kit I'll post on Amazon later and I'll post it in the description below was about 50 bucks and you're looking at two 2x12s two that are just uh, short of 8 feet. We have an 8 foot truck bed and I wanted to make sure when we got the golf cart in that I could throw these on this side of the truck so we would always have them in there and also be able to close our tailgate. So uh, this has been a great kit for us. I would say we probably had 12 or 15 trips, I'd have to count. Uh, where we've taken our golf cart and it really loads up nicely so I'm going to show you how I load this up I know that some of the other kits actually have a strap that goes in between here and with the durability of the foot it's not really necessary for us we found that this never slips as long as we're on good terrain and it's been very easy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount my GoPro on the front side of my golf cart here And I'm going to show you how we drive this up. And then after we get it up, I'm going to show you how we bring it down. So, um, you know what, I'm actually going to put it a little bit closer to the front tires so that you can see how well this centers. We have some nice wide tires on our golf cart, which is nice. So it stays on these 2x12s really well. Okay. So I always make sure that I have this fully charged when it's time. I'm gonna see if my puppy Rambo wants to come out for a ride. Rambo, you wanna come out in the golf cart? He actually thinks that this is his golf cart, so now he is currently sitting right next to me, and we're gonna go ahead and grab this up. Now again, you want it to be a full charge. The greater the angle, the more power you need. Right now, you know, we got a pretty strong angle, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go on up. I always center my left tire on the edge and look on the right hand side, moving on up. Okay, oops, nice and easy, and we are on. So that was pretty simple. I know you're looking at the, the downside. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reposition the GoPro camera. I'm gonna show you what we have here. We're gonna go ahead and get it out. Now for the backing down part of this, it's extremely important, extremely important that your ramps are in perfect alignment. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this up and show you. After I went ahead and got it up in the truck, I actually hit the wheel well. So now I have to go ahead and reposition it. 
Now, typically what I would do, you know, most of the time I'm actually not driving it up and driving it down. So I just kind of eyeball it, make sure we're in good position. That's pretty good. I want the tire to be, you know, right in the center. And I'm going to confirm when I'm coming down. So now I climb up into my cart. And I'm going to do this now with it not on the cart, but in my hands. And I want to position, I got these great, great outside mirrors so I can see my wheels. I hope you can see that. Let me confirm that I'm looking right at this. Okay, you can see there that I'm looking directly down at the tire. And here on the other side, we're doing the same thing. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and back down slowly. Okay, put it in reverse. Try not to scare the puppy. Okay, make sure, I'm gonna watch and feel to make sure I'm on both ramps, foot on the gas and on the brake. Okay, other side, looks good. go down slowly and then once I make sure that both my wheels are on the ramps and I get over the hump I'm just gonna let it coast on down I'm keeping a look on both sides for my ramps to make sure we're okay and we are perfectly down so let me go ahead and just catch you up here a second. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And I'm just gonna sum this up again real quick. We have our kit from Amazon, which we put on a two by 12. We put angle iron on the sides to help give it some structural strength so it doesn't bow. There's the front side. You'll notice it didn't move uh, very much when we were backing down. There's our pup Rambo, our club car precedent. That is a Mad Jax lift kit. We have some, just some generic 12-inch uh, uh, extended rims on here. And we have some really, really nice all-terrain tires. We have the Mad Jax uh, seat covers. We have an off-brand kit for our, our back seat. And we went with the Mad Jax covers here, which I think make it look really nice. Pretty ghetto, I'll say this on our roof. You know, we did not like the cream that was on there. So we picked the color of spray paint and we just spray painted it to make it look more, you know, like the silver that's on our seats. So I hope you enjoyed our video. Again, this is glamping to the extreme. You know, we take our golf cart anywhere that we have a lot of walking to do inside the campground. You know, I'm gonna say this again, when we get back to our camper, you know, generally we have adventured all day long. We're on the beach, we're hiking in the mountains. You know, we're doing all the things that we, that we really love to do. And our four-star experience or five-star experience comes from the accessories that we take with us and the fun that we have once we get back to the campground. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to be showing you our Fireland propane fire pit. Um, that's probably the second most vain thing that we take with us. Not that I don't like making fires, but um, you know when you have uh, time restraints on how much time you have at the campground, I certainly don't want to be lugging uh, firewood all over the place and I don't want to be spending a half hour every night uh, creating a campfire. So that'll be the next uh, glamping accessory video that we have. Again, remember to subscribe uh, to our YouTube page. If you uh, want to see more about uh, what goes on in our adventures, go on over to our blog at OutdoorAdventure360.com or follow us on Instagram. Have a great day.